Welcome back crafty cuties. Welcome to Paper Terrace. Today we are going to be doing like part five of the mass journal making overview. And right now we are getting to the point where we are finally going to take the page decorations that I have briefly showed you. And I did a video showing the 10, uh, 10 of my favorite page decorations, which are all included in this lovely box here. And we will be putting them into each of the journals. And I keep mentioning this, but I do this in assembly line order. So I do a lot of the same thing all at once. So let me show you my process for this. And again, I'm just giving you kind of a little overview. I won't be going through each one. So I'm going to take the first journal that's... Um, the the first one of the pile basically this is no particular order and what I'm going to do is open this up take the pages out and now I'm going to start creating the signatures which basically I'm just going to be taking all of these folded pages and putting them um, one inside of each other to create this little packet of papers these little this little booklet and I'll probably do three or four signatures for each journal. I'm just gonna kind of play around and go through and remember that I have all kinds of different pages in here and envelopes and book or um, <laughs> little bags and things like that. Just try to kind of mix it up so that everything's pretty even. So now that I'm kind of getting a better idea here, I think I'll probably do four signatures and we're just going to get these all in order. So now you can kind of see that no matter where the tab placement was on the pages, um, everything kind of gets out of order once I put them in their signatures, but that's still going to leave us with very spaced out tabs. I think I'll do one of these. And then we're left with a few extra little pieces here. I'm just trying to evenly space this, um, but if you can tell, I'm not exactly counting or anything like that. Uh, just kind of doing it as quickly as I can because I do have like 30 of these to do. So just start getting these in the order that I want them to be. Let's see. And sometimes I'll move things around when I realize like, oh wait, I don't actually like how that is. I try to make sure I don't have like two bags right next to each other just because I don't like that. We have one more little bag here so then I'll see where can it fit in and still be all evenly spaced out. Let's see, what's in this one? Oh, this is just an extra page. Okay, so... It looks like one, two, three. So it looks like I have three. No, I have four signatures going on. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll put this right here. And then let's see. I have one, two, three. Okay. This can fit in here then. Everything should be able to be pretty evenly spaced. And if not, then I can either take away a signature or add. A signature this is also where if I decide maybe I did have too many pages or something like that I can also take things out then I'm just gonna stack these right now the order doesn't exactly matter but I'll, I'll have it pretty close to what I think I want for the journal I think so this so now I'm thinking about like the cover is this mushroom theme and then inside I have mushrooms and so I actually like that when you open it up you'll have just this plain brown and it's a textured paper um, yeah, all of these other ones seem a bit too busy. They fit fine within the journal, but I always like that first page to just make sense, I guess, when you open up the journal. Okay, so now that I've done that, I am going to go through and do that to each and every one. We are getting to the point where we're going to put all of those page decorations in for this video, but like I said, just doing those small tasks all at once really makes a difference on time at least for me and we all work differently so you know if this style doesn't work for you that's okay but I am hoping by sharing these tips and tricks not tricks but showing you the way that I work hopefully it can help you maybe experiment and try and if you wanted you could go ahead and put all of your 
page types in piles and then pull from them to create the signatures. I'll try to do that. So basically I'm going to take all of the heavy cardstock, place that in a pile. I'm going to take all of the dyed papers, ledger papers, kind of like extra blank pages, if you will, put those in a pile. And I know I'm doing this sort of messy and PS, I burnt my light out today, like literally almost burnt it on the stove, the, um, the cord that is. And so we are sort of working with not a lot of light right now. Okay. Okay. So I have three piles here, cardstock, dyed papers, ledger papers, and blank papers, and then bags and maybe anything extra like envelopes. Okay. I do usually, oops, music page should go over here. I do usually like to start with a cardstock on the outside, but again, that, that's not always true. I'm gonna put a bag in here. There, okay, I'm gonna start with three pages in that one. We can always come back. Sometimes I like to have like a smaller page, but then a larger page. And I do have more heavy card stocks than, than I need for outer, co outer covers of the signature. So I will need to use up some of those within the signatures as well. So we'll do that one. Um, oh, I love this. We'll have this be an outside cover. And maybe I'll also take um, no, I don't like that. We'll go like this. Sorry, I'm going kind of fast because I really have to in order to make it through everything. <laughs> okay, and so basically I have three signatures kind of already made up. So I only want maybe one more. Now it does seem like I have more pages in this journal then the last one, which could very well be, I can't remember right now, but this is a little bit of a bigger journal and that's probably why. So if I need to, I'll make five signatures, but I am gonna see if I can do four. I just kind of like the even numbers. However, I have a lot of leftover pages, so I can't, I definitely am not gonna just stuff those into the already made four signatures because if you didn't know this, it's can get really hard working in an overstuffed signature and it's one of the top reasons why things become too bulky in your journals and it's hard to like open the pages and have them stay shut so when in doubt take some out <laughs> did I just invent that okay so like I said I'm gonna yeah so I definitely have more pages in this journal here in the last but like I said that's okay okay I think I can at least fit one more in there and let's see if I have room to fit one more small little bag that I have left over and if not I'll just go ahead and take it out I definitely can on this journal okay 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 so now that we've done two of those together and we're already about 10 minutes in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna finish this part so that we can go into the more exciting part. So we're back, everything is in signatures and I don't have a very big working space for the filming area. So this is gonna be a little tricky, but we're gonna get started. Okay, so we have all of the decorated pages right here. I am going to start by pulling out just one type, one, one of the page um, decorations, if that makes sense. So all of these are the same, or same style, I should say. They're all the pockets. So now what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna take one of these and put it inside each journal. I don't have a spot to do like piles, otherwise that would actually be way quicker for me. And I'll do that off camera, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna take one, place it in, one, place it in um, and I can just slide them down in the top of the journal, okay? Then I'm gonna take my next pile of page decorations and do the same thing. So I'm gonna continue this until I have all remaining pages um, into the journals and then that's when I'll take each one and we'll start decorating. So I'm gonna disperse these off camera so I can use my big area. Then finally we can decorate together. 
I decided to go ahead and take a few shots of me laying everything out because I know a lot of people are more visual learners so I wanted to show you how I truly take over my entire house a lot of times when I'm working on a big collection like this or even my monthly Patreon send out because I'm dealing with a ton of packages that are the same for that. Anyways, I found a couple little tables and I had them right next to me. It was just so much easier to lay everything out so that I could see each pile and make sure that every pile had the exact amount of all of the pieces. I also wanted to point out that these page decorations aren't all filled. Like for instance, this one is a double um, tag pocket and I don't have tags in it yet. But one of the steps after this is where I'll go through and fill up anything that I want to. But I wanted to just mention that these journals, I don't plan to send them completely filled because with my experience, I've found that uh, leaving some open spaces and open pockets in journals is a little bit easier for people to work with. I've had a lot of people tell me that my fully decorated and stuffed journals, they absolutely love them, but like they're intimidated to ruin it or to uh, mess it up. And I really truly want these journals to be able to be used. And so I try to do kind of like, you know, an in-between um, what I think will work best for someone to actually use the journals, but still have some fun things to look through. So I just wanted to point that out. I did realize that I had these random index cards that I had did some inking and stamping on. And so instead of just placing those in the pile um, by themselves, I'm also going to place those inside these clear adhesive pockets that I also um, decorated just to make that step a little bit easier so that um, when I put these in the journals, they'll already have like a little something in the pockets. And then I did want to also mention I have a lot of extra page decorations. I made extra of each one because I'm also planning to make, um, I don't know what I'll call them yet, but they'll basically be little packets of the page decorations by their self. So if anyone, you know, already makes their own journals or has their own journal, but wants some of these, these uh, page decorations, then those will be available in my shop as well. I'm almost done now, ready to finally put each pile into the journal. So each little stack has 15 different elements, which is going to be lots of decoration within our journals. And I'm so excited to get these in the journals finally. So I have all the piles ready. I'll disperse them in the journals now. The moment we've all been waiting for, or is that just me? Okay. So now time to uh, put the page decorations onto the pages. So I'm going to open one up here. I have my sewing machine nearby. I have glue and scissors. I'm probably going to be gluing most of these on since they already have like sewn elements, but I, it really just depends. And remember that I have the signatures already made. So everything is in the order. As I've mentioned a lot of times, I do like to have something kind of pretty on this front cover. So I'm probably going to just go through and figure out what I like on that first page. I might not want to put something too like overwhelming, but this gets quicker too as I'm going along since this is actually the first one that I'm clearly doing. Okay, I like that, but I feel like I need something a little bit more, I don't know like that and by the way in this pile there are some things like tags or journaling cards which won't exactly take up a full page or anything like that um, but they might go into a pocket of one of the pages or something like that if that makes sense it's kind of hard to talk and walk <laughs> okay i like that but i don't know if that goes okay i think i like that collage pocket and so for instance, this fabric tag, I might actually go ahead and place in here. Not for all of these, but I might do that. And I may end up adding some additional decorations per journal because every journal is kind of its own thing. And so whatever I'm feeling with that one, so those last minute touches will get applied um, in the next step. Because again, if I get to, if I get too off on tangents, that's not the right word, but per journal, 
it's just like a conversation. It's just gonna take forever and I'm never going to finish. So I like to finish each step because it actually feels good and it's more motivating to finish a full step and be able to move on. Um, I may also want to place like over on this side a clear adhesive pocket, but again, that will be in the next step. So I hope I'm making sense here. Now remember, I have lots of page decorations to add um, into each journal. So I think I'm gonna do this one. This, if you didn't see, this is a pocket on top. So I'll make sure that that's going right side up. Um, actually, I think maybe I'll go ahead and place it right here actually. And I'm gonna, for this one, I'm just gonna glue onto the actual paper and I'm gonna glue three edges. I do this a lot to create a pocket so that you'll see what I mean when I place this down. Now there's also kind of a little hidden um, side pocket as well. So you'll be able to put something in the top loading pocket and now in here as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of flip through and figure out like where I want things. Um, if I want to keep something blank because I don't, I'm not going to make it a rule that I have to use up every single piece um, in the page decorations because I don't want things to be too overwhelming. Um, and if I have leftover, what I'm going to do is just include it in the journal for the recipient to use um, however they want. So I'm going to go ahead and place this down as a belly band. So I'm just going to glue down one side here. Since I did make, you know, these all together in one go, some things might be off just a tiny bit on size. Like if you see, this is obviously too wide. Um, it wasn't quite long enough to go up and down. So and I'm actually just going to fold that around and have that be a cute little um, kind of snippet piece on this side. But there may be a few times when I have to trim something down just a tad bit. Um, obviously, if it's smaller than the page that's totally fine but there might be a few instances because I did make a couple of these journals a little bit smaller than I intended but it's not really a big deal it's just something I deal with when I get to it. I may also clip some things on so either with one of these bulldog clips or with a paper clip. and as I'm flipping through the pages I noticed you know that I have a pocket in the journal pages so I also look through and see if there's anything in my little pile that I might want to um, put in there as well. So I'm gonna put this little hidden journaling pocket spot in there. And then I'm just gonna basically continue on like this. And my dog's barking, so I'm probably gonna stop filming, but I think you guys get the point. Uh, you're just gonna go through and basically put all of these page decorations into the journal. However you see, each one's gonna be totally different. And then I will take you along on part six where I'm going to do more final touches. There's a lot of final touches. But I hope this video helped you in some way. Let me know if you do mass journal making. Um, what do you do different? Or if you have any tips that you'd like to share. That would be lovely. I think I'm also going to take this clear adhesive pocket here and place it right there. So it's nice to have all of these things just ready to go. Okay guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.